Hello guys, the LEGO Master Reviews here, and today we got a bunch of new reveals for the upcoming Marvel Wave for January 1st. Some are very disappointing in my opinion, some are actually really good, so let's just jump in and take a look at them. The first one we're going to take a look at here is the one I'm personally most excited for, and that is the X-Men Jet, and this is tying into the X-Men 97 animated show that should be releasing sometime in 2024, and this set is obviously releasing January 1st, just like all the others, for $80 in the US. You get four minifigures included, that being Wolverine, Rogue, Cyclops, and Magneto. And right off the bat, I think the ship looks great. Um, it looks like there's a few stickers like the X-Men logo. Um, but some of the minifigures I think are a bit questionable, so let's take a closer look at that. So I'm going to start from left to right, starting with Cyclops here. I think he looks great. It's been so long since you got in the Cyclops minifigure, and he's one of my favorite X-Men, if not my favorite. So I think they nailed it out of the park with this one. I love the hair piece they chose. I also think the face print looks great. I wonder if he has a second facial expression as well, maybe like an angry face or something. That would be cool. Um, but the torso printing is also amazing there. I love like the X-Men logo on his chest and stuff. Um, but other than that, I think the only complaint I really have is there's no leg printing. Um, I definitely could have gone for some leg printing, like maybe some like, knee pads or something. But still, I love that minifigure. It's definitely my personal favorite of the set. And then we get to Magneto, which uh, it's not my favorite, um, but it is very accurate to the show. I think that's what his costume is going to look like with like the giant M. Um, but I would have preferred a helmet. I'm pretty sure he does wear a helmet in the show. So I don't really get the choice of not including a helmet, but still, he looks cool, although I would have gone for the more traditional Magneto. Um, but then we get to Rogue, and she's part of the best minifigure of the set. Not my personal favorite, but definitely a great minifigure, especially that hair piece um, with the printing on it. looks amazing. The face print's also awesome, and I'm sure she'll have a second one. Um, the torso printing is also amazing there with that jacket. Um, and then the leg printing is also great. And then we get to Wolverine, which is probably the most disappointing one of the set, mainly because I don't think Wolverine should have even been included in this set since we got such an amazing one in the CMF series. And there's just so many cool X-Men out there that we haven't gotten yet, so it's kind of disappointing to see him. And the fact that he's just less detailed than the CMF one is really disappointing as well. Like, it doesn't even have the arm printing or, like, dual molding. Um, but yeah, Wolverine's definitely the one I'm least excited for because there's a much better one out there on the market right now. And Magneto's is a little bit disappointing because that's not my favorite look, but it is accurate to the show and I can always be happy with an accurate minifigure. But Rogue and Cyclops look amazing and I'm pretty impressed with them. Taking a closer look at the ship now, um, we're going to start with this main picture here and I think this looks great. I really like these pieces used back here as well as like the X-Men logo there. Looks like there's a bit of an interior and this looks really similar to the one we got a few years ago with like the Sentinel. Um, but it's not identical, um, but and then you can also see the wings kind of rotate there. So pretty cool build. Um, you can also see some play features with like, it looks like you can see like one minifigure in the front. Um, but then you also get like that um, stud shooter there as well as a spring loaded shooter. So kind of interesting, they included two little play features there. You also get some crates here that holds like Wolverine's claws and the extra pieces. And even kind of shows Magneto holding that there. And it kind of looks like Magneto's on a stand of some sort, so that's kind of interesting. Um, you can also see Magneto with a separate facial expression. It kind of looks like Cyclops also has a more angry one, and a rogue, and then Wolverine, um, you can't really tell there. And, but it does give you a better look at that no dual molding, so pretty disappointing Wolverine, like I was saying earlier. But yeah, the jet itself looks awesome. Um, I don't personally have the original one, so definitely looking forward to this one. I'm definitely looking forward to the X-Men 97 show as well. And overall, this is a really solid set and definitely a pickup for me, despite some of the disappointing minifigures. Next up is another set I'm very excited for, and that is the Spider-Man vs. Sandman Final Battle. I, this set did leak a few days ago, and I actually covered it here on the channel. So I'm going to be a bit more brief on this one, because I've already kind of taken a closer look at it. So if you want to see my full thoughts on that, please go check out that video on my channel. But kind of getting clear images here, this set still looks awesome in my opinion. I really like how it's an expansion of the um, original Noi Home set, and all the minifigures look great here. Um, Sandman's build also looks really awesome. But taking a closer look at these minifigures, as you can see, the most exciting one's definitely the lizard here. I think Lego nailed it out of the park with that minifigure. The face print looks very creepy, just like the lizard. Torso printing also looks amazing. There's no arm printing, but I don't think it was necessary. I am very glad they included leg printing though. Um, but I kind of wish maybe they were like the Gremlin slash Demogorgon legs. I think that would have worked better for the Lizard. But still, I think he looks great. You can also see he's using the same tail from the CMF T-Rex minifigure, which I think is a very smart choice. But as far as Electro goes, he's the exact same one from the Noi home set. Still a great minifigure, but kind of disappointing it's not anything new. Then we also get the Spider-Man integrated suit, which we've seen for the past few years. Nothing new, but I think that's a great minifigure as well. So if you don't have the original Noi home set, um, these minifigures are great to get, but if you do, they're kind of disappointing and maybe something unique would have been better. The last image I wanted to show here is how the Sandman build can connect to the Statue of Liberty's head. I think this looks great. You can, I think you're just supposed to lift up the top piece and then put the Sandman inside. So very cool there. I think this really does complete the set, especially with the lizard there. And you kind of finally have all the villains. And overall, I'm very excited for the set, but I can't help but feel that it probably should have been the scene where Tom Holland's Spider-Man's in the black and gold suit. 
and he first meets Electro, Mikar got like a translucent Electro, as well as the Sandman as a minifigure and maybe like some power line builds. But this is still an awesome set, I'm definitely gonna pick this one up January. Next up is a set based off the original Guardians movie, and that's Rocket's Warbird. And if you don't remember this ship, this is the one he flew at the final battle of the original Guardians movie. Um, and it's very similar to the Milano, that's because obviously it's a Ravenger ship, but you get two minifigures being Rocket and Ronin, and um, for people that don't have the Ronin minifigure, this is going to be very exciting. I personally have the original one, so I'm not that excited, but I can get why a lot of other people can be excited. Um, but admittedly, I think this one's a bit of a downgrade, because he just has a normal hood piece um, and just a cape, which is kind of disappointing. I, I think it would have been cool if you also included an orb, but the torso and leg printing looks great. It also looks like his eyes are glowing purple, because obviously no, he has the power, the power stone. Um, but you also get Rocket here, which is, we have gotten this minifigure before and it was a lot more detailed because it was like this Toys R Us poly bag. The torso printing looks great there, but it, I don't know, everything else about that minifigure is not my favorite. So minifigures aren't impressing me that much, but the build itself will look, like, looks great in my opinion. I love the little like shooters in the back, as well as the giant like machine guns in the front. Uh, it does look like I can only seat one minifigure and it gives me major like Milano vibes from the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 set. I just love that set, I have so much nostalgia for that um, Milano from Volume 2. Um, but yeah, love this ship. Um, we also have another picture we'll take a look at right now. And here we have the back of the box of this set. And you get a better look at the minifigures. And I think Rocket's definitely not my favorite, um, but he still looks pretty cool, especially with that torso printing. Then we also get Ronin. And like I said, I have the original, so I'm not that hyped for this minifigure. Um, and I do think the original probably looks a little better than this, but the cape is unique, it kind of looks like. Like it's almost like a new like fabric mold. So very cool there. Um, but he does just have a normal hood piece. The face printing looks awesome though, as well as the torso and lake printing. Then he has this has a normal hammer, so pretty cool there. Then we get a better look at the Warbird from behind. I think that also looks very awesome there. Um, I'm very excited for the ship itself. Then we also can see Rocket can sit down with his blaster, and you can see that the engines also fire off, which is another really cool detail. Um, so very, very cool set, and it should be releasing um, January 1st, obviously, and it should be around $38, which is the same price as the Noe Home set which I find kind of weird because this seems a lot smaller than that Sandman set. Um, but still, I don't know if this one will be like a day one pickup for me, but eventually I'll get it. And I'm pretty impressed with this one, honestly. Just definitely not my favorite and the minifigures really aren't that desired. Next up is another Guardians of the Galaxy slash Rocket Raccoon build. And that's this buildable rocket that should be retailing for $55, which does seem a bit pricey. I don't know if it's worth that, but I still think this looks really cool. It is a bit cursed though. Um, but I like the building techniques with like the whiskers there as like Wolverine's claws and like the ears look great the, and that kind of looks like it might be a print there. And there's also like look more like little more pieces there that kind of look like prints as well. Hopefully not stickers. His blaster looks great on that side. This one has like a spring load shooter. The fingers also look really cool here. Um, I also really like the building techniques used for the tell um, being like the bucket slash like barrel pieces and like the tree branches and bushes. Really looks a lot like a like, like the rocket's tell so very cool there. The feet also kind of look questionable in my opinion. I think it's this little Gru here, which is kind of adorable. It's in a minifigure form, which is a definitely unique. It's trying to fit into the scale of Rocky, even though I think that is a little bit small if you're trying to be like in universe scale. But still, this one looks great. You also get a better look at this rocket on the back of the box. And as you can see, he looks pretty cool. Um, you get a better look at his mouth there. As you can see, he has like red pieces to represent his tongue. Um, as well as the two blasters there and Gru looking very angry as well. It also looks like you can place Groot on Rocky's shoulder, which is really cool. He must have like studs there. Um, I really like that detail. And as you can see, the gun fires off. Uh, but other than that, it doesn't seem like it has much play features. But still, I, I am very excited for this set, despite how like pricey it is. And I think this looks really cool. We also have a much closer look at the Groot minifigure. And as you can see, he has some normal dark red legs, but then the torso printing is unique. And I think that looks very cool there. He also is in the newer color of Groot that Lego's been doing recently. Um, but then you get a face print, which is kind of like the Baby Groot face, and that definitely looks a little cursed in my opinion. Definitely not my favorite look for Baby Groot, but still, it's great to get a unique Groot figure from Volume 2, and I'm always down for some more Guardian sets. Next up here is unfortunately another mech set, and that is the War Machine mech. Though admittedly, I don't think this one looks that terrible. As you can see, it's just a normal mech. You got some stud shooters as well as like a printed piece in the center. It looks pretty cool. Um, it has those newer style legs that can't bend at all, as well as like a, kind of like a cool wire in the back. So we'll take a close look at that minifigure right now. As you can see, we get a better look at the minifigure on the back of the box here. I think he looks absolutely awesome. It's probably the only reason I'd even consider buying this set. I think the uh, torso and leg printing looks great. The face looks like it might be a reused one that we've gotten in the past, but the hair piece also works perfect. I can't really tell if that's this weird lighting or if that's arm printing on the side, but if that is arm printing, I'll definitely be getting this set because that's just so cool. Um, but as far as like the mech go, it just, it works as other mechs do. You get some like bars here that strap around him. Um, you can also place some like extra ammo slots in the back. I do like that wire on the back though, I think that looks pretty cool. 
and it says times three here so you get like three like, shooters on it or whatever so i don't know i'm getting pretty sick of these mechs um i think they're pretty boring and i'm just getting really tired of them but the minifigures look cool and the only reason i'd be considering picking this one up is because of that awesome war machine minifigure Next up is unfortunately another mech, and that is the Venom Mech Armor versus Miles Morales, um, just like the War Machine mech. But you do get two minifigures for the price of 15, whereas like the War Machine one, you only get one minifigure, but that War Machine minifigure is much better than these ones. These are just like absolute repeats. The Miles Morales is a less detailed version than the ones we got in the past, because at least the past versions had like dual molding. This, I, I don't know, this, this just seems so lazy. The Venom minifigure is nothing new either. This is just such a lame set. This is about as lazy as they could have gotten. I just don't get when you have options to do mechs, which is already lame. Why you just choose to do another Venom mech, which you've had so many of, and this why you won't even create a new minifigure for it. This is just so lame, and there's not even a chance I'll even buy this set. One thing I did want to point out though, on the back of the box, um, there is kind of like the classic Venom colors there with like the like kind of blue and purplish pink, um, which is kind of like his classic animated colors. I thought that was cool, but again, there's not even a chance I'll be picking up this set. Next up is a little bit more of an exciting set, and that is the Spider-Man Motorcycle over Stock Ock. And um, as you can see, we get a really cool Doc Ock here. It's really the only thing this set has going for it. And I'll, we'll take a closer look at that minifigure in a second, but the spider bike looks pretty lame. Um, it's just another motorcycle to slap on Spider-Man, I guess. Um, hopefully that piece in the front's a print, but it's probably gonna be a sticker. Um, and I actually really like this banana piece here. I think that's pretty cool. I've actually never seen that. I don't know if it's from like a Mario set or something. But that looks really cool, but the fact that I like this banana more than the actual set says a lot about it. Um, but the Spider-Man minifigure does have arm printing, so that's pretty cool. And then the stock Ock actually looks really cool. I like all the venomized detail on him, so we'll take a closer look at that right now. Taking a closer look at these minifigures, the Spider-Man is one we've seen in the past, but just less detailed. Similar to Miles Morales, there's absolutely no late like, detailing at all, which is pretty lame, but at least the Spider-Man does have arm printing. Um, but the torso and like face printing are all the same. Um, and then the Venomized Doc Ock does actually look pretty cool here though. Um, that face print looks awesome. I'm pretty sure there's a second face print that has the face fully Venomized. Um, but the torso printing is also pretty cool. And he has like a black arm there to kind of show like a half symbiote look. Um, but the arms are pretty lame. Those are really small arms. Um, so yeah. And lastly, here is the Spider-Man car. Um, I don't really get why Spider-Man's getting so many vehicles. But the car kind of looks cool. I know hopefully these pieces are printed on the side as well as that one in the front there. Gwen Stacy is nothing new, but she does kind of come with a cool skateboard there. The web piece is also really neat, but definitely the standout of this set is the Venomized Green Goblin. That looks really cool there. I love the pumpkin bomb he has as well as the glider, which is like a fully Venomized one, which is really neat. Torso and the head printing also look great, but I mean, I don't really get why Spider-Man needs a car. Um, but we'll take a closer look at those minifigures right now. Spider-Man is the exact same one from the Spider-Man car, and it's definitely not that detailed. Then we get Gwen Stacy, which is a pretty cool minifigure, but nothing new. Um, and then we get Green Goblin, which looks really cool. He just has some black legs, as well as like a black arm on the side there. But then he has a great torso print there with like the white spider. And I absolutely love that face print there with like the half Green Goblin and the venomized face that has like a yellow eye. So that's pretty cool. Um, but then we, I'm pretty sure he also has a face print that's fully venomized. And we'll take a look at the back of the box right now. And here's the back of the box. And as you can see, I was right about that Venom thing. He does have a fully venomized face and that looks sick there. Um, the Spider-Man minifigure is kind of okay and he's on like a new web piece, or I don't know if that's new, but it is a neat web piece nonetheless. Um, and then Gwen's on her skateboard there. And that banana piece, it returns again in this set. So let me know in the comments down below if that is a new piece um, for this new Spider-Man wave or if that's been another set, cause I am curious and I'm pretty excited to get that mold. Um, but like I said, if I'm more excited for the banana than the set, that kind of shows you how I feel about the Spider-Man set. But overall, this will definitely not be a day one pick for me. Maybe if it's on clearance, I'll get it. Um, but yeah, I don't know about this set, and I'm just kind of getting sick of these comic Spider-Man sets that give nothing new to the table other than like Venomized figures. But that does it for all the new reveals we have for January 1st. Overall, some sets I hate in this wave, other sets I absolutely love. I heard some people calling it like the worst Marvel wave ever, and I don't think it's anywhere near that. I think there's definitely some good sets, and I think the good outweighs the bad for this wave. But as far as like the Venom like sets go, and like the comic Spider-Man, especially that Venom mech, um, they really, LEGO really needs to pick up their game on some of those comic Spider-Man sets. There's, there's so much potential with that. So really disappointed in that, but the No Way Home set, X-Men Jet, and um, the both those Rocket sets look pretty cool, and I'm very excited to get those ones whenever I do. And when I do get those sets, you can definitely count on a review. But let me know in the comments down below which one's your favorite. Are you disappointed? Of, of, from the Venom sets, and if you are excited for those Venom sets, don't let my opinion turn you away from them. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion, and I'm glad that at least some people are excited for the Venom sets if you are. Um, but again, let me know which one's your favorite. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and have an incredible day. Bye.